a vicious battle to influence the future composition of the Supreme Court appears to have taken shape barely three days after the exit of Chief Justice William Mutunga, his deputy Kalpana Awal, and Justice Philip Tunoy. Now, former LSK CEO now wants the JSC to send home Justices Njokin Dungu and Jack Tonojuang over alleged gross misconduct. But is this latest affront against the two judges genuine or part of the long-running supremacy battle schemes at the Kenyan judiciary? KTN's Murimi Mwangi explores. After differing sharply with the rest of the Supreme Court judges over the retirement of Deputy Chief Justice Kalpana Rawal and fellow Judge Philip Tunoy, the judicial careers of Supreme Court Judge Njoki Ndongo and Jack Tonojuang are now on the line. And it has all to do with their absence from this last bench of the top court, chaired by retired Chief Justice Willy Mutunga, when the court prescribed an immediate retirement for a while and to know it, in an application demanding for disciplinary action against the two judges. Former Law Society of Kenya CEO Apollo Mboya claims failure by the two judges to attend the sitting amounted to a lack of courtesy for advocates who were in court on that day. They were not there and the Supreme Court then said that there is no quorum and that's what the Chief Justice said. We don't have a bench to listen. That's why we cannot even make any pronouncement with regard to that application. But critics have accused Mboya of playing to the gallery of forces keen to block the two judges from the Mutunga Rawal succession. Ojuang is the second senior most judge of the Supreme Court, while Njoki is the senior most serving female judge. Both judges have been touted as suitable candidates for Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice. The Judicial Service Commission should act independently and give us a CJ who is not beholden to any vested interests. The most important thing that you should actually ask yourself is why as their own employer, the Judicial Service Commission, determined that they misconducted themselves in the first instance. The Judicial Service Commission could have differed with me. Article 26, subsection 3 of the Supreme Court Act states, and I quote, a judge who has had a case and who is absent from the delivery of judgment may send a copy of the judgment with which the judge concurs or where the judge has written an opinion. Give the opinion to a judge present at the delivery of judgment to announce or read the concurrence or opinion in open court. When they didn't show up, to give the ruling on Thursday. They can only blame themselves. Us as taxpayers, we know we are paying a lot of money to maintain them as judges. The JSC can only recommend the formation of a tribunal to investigate the two judges after establishing substantive evidence of gross misconduct. Murimi Mwangi Kiche News, Nairobi.